notorious male feminist Hugo Schweizer has admitted that his entire career is a fraud, which is exactly what I said two years ago. The big news in feminist circles is the resignation of Hugo Schweizer. He has admitted that he was a fake feminist. That his entire career was a fraud. Not only that, he's admitted that he was never even qualified to be an instructor of women's studies. He also says that the college he worked for also knew that he was underqualified for the job. He also admits that he read one book on pornography and then claimed to be an expert. He then also said that he read one book on, by Kimmel and then also portrayed himself as an expert on the subject. Which means the claims that were being thrown at me that he was such a genius expert had absolutely no basis whatsoever. He's also admitted that his entire career as a well-known male feminist online has been a complete fraud. Despite everything that I was saying to the opposite, I was being told over and over again that I had no idea what I was talking about and that Hugo Schweizer was the expert on the subject and that I needed to bow to his superior knowledge. This big change has come after he had a nervous breakdown and decided to receive medication for the problems that he was facing. This is what compelled him to go out onto Twitter and apologize for his entire career and for everything that he had done to people. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with him, he was the leader of the LA Slut Walk two years ago, and I believe he was last year as well, if my memory serves me correctly. This was, he's one of those liberal feminist types, the ones that make complaints about how the system are, but don't do anything that actually challenges the institutionalized sexism that exists in our society. Now that same two years ago when he was the leader of the LA Slut Walk, I made a blog post about it because I felt that given his history with women, which contained some very terrible things, including the attempted murder of his wife and using his students for sex, that this was not the man who should be a part of, or the leader of the LA Slut Walk. I made a blog post about it and pointed out a lot of these things and called him a lot of, uh, accused him of a lot of harsh things, which his own admitted behavior demonstrates. His response to me, was to threaten a lawsuit. He abuses the position he's in to get sex from students. I severely circumcised, I mean criticized, him for this disgusting conduct on his part. He responded by making unsubstantiated threats against me on Twitter. Now this is a big piece of vindication for me because I had said two years ago that he was a fraud with a bunch of other things based on his own admitted behavior. And then a lot of people attacked me saying that I was wrong and that I shouldn't be saying these things, that he's a good man, he's a real leader, he's a real feminist. And now it turns out that I was right the entire time. So basically I kind of just made this video to say that I was right all along. Sorry, a certain YouTube user. I was right. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share on various social media. And if you want, there's some other good videos here you can check out.